chapter 19. The Mexican American War. Even after Congress approved the U.S. annexation of the Lone Star Republic in 1845, Texas remained a disputed territory. A new Mexican government declared that the Treaty Santa Ana had signed was not valid. Oregon country, Oregon country, and California also remained in question. <clears throat> 5440 were fight. When John Taylor fell out of the favor with the Whig party, the Whigs nominated Harry Clay as their candidate. In the 1844 uh, presidential election, the Democrat nominated James K. Fall, whose main campaign promise was in the slogan of 5440 54 40 or fight that is the supported setting the northern border of Oregon country, which the U.S. joint occupied Great Britain uh, attitude uh, 54 degree 50, 40 um, north, giving the U.S. more land. <coughs> Fifty-four forty. Fifty-four forty. On the promise and the popularity of manifest destiny, Polk was elected president because he was more interested in the territory than war. Polk eventually compromised with Britain to extend the border to the Four Nines Federal which previous U.S. administration had already proposed. The Oregon Treaty of 1846 is set the border between the U.S. and Britain controlled Canada, uh, creating the Oregon Territory. <coughs> Mexico, 22nd Federal, Oregon Trail, Oregon County. United States, 49th Federal, 1846 trade boundary, British North America, U.S. Mexico tension. <coughs> Mexico eventually acknowledged that Texas was an American territory, but the border between the two nations was not yet settled. The U.S. government considered the Mexican border to be along the uh, Rio uh, Grande River. The Mexican government believed the border was much farther north along the uh, Nunesses River, <coughs> Rio River, Nunesses River, disputed territory, Mexican territory. <coughs> the Mexican American War begins. In 1845, President Fox sent Ambassador John Solidar to offer Mexico. 30 million for the disputed area of Texas, California, and New Mexico. But Texas, but, but Mexico refused to uh, negotiate. In a controversial move, Polk also sent uh, General Chani Taylor and his troops to Texas uh, with uh, instruction to make a camp in the disputed region between the Rio Grande and the New South. <coughs> Polk's stance was that this land was American land, so the U.S. was not invading Mexico. Mexico argued that the U.S. Army was making hostile moves, and Mexican troops engaged Taylor's men on April 25, 1846. Polk informed Congress that Mexican had attacked U.S. troops on U.S. soil without being provoked. In early May, Congress declared the Mexican-American War 
public support for war in Mexico was mixed. Gaining another southern territory would create more slave states in the Union. Still, the vote in Congress was a landslide since it would gain a lot of land at a very low cost. The second declared war under the Constitution. <coughs> Meanwhile, <coughs> in California, Mexico had taken control of California from Spain after Mexico's war, Mexico's war for independence. The Mexican government replaced the Spanish mission system with ranchos, ranches, large parcel, piece, large parcel of land owned <coughs> by wealthy ranchers and managed by uh, boquero or cowboy. The Hispanic Californian called Californios felt a strong sense of local identity, their of national identity. Given the distance between California and Mexico, it was tough for them to consider themselves Mexican. The American settlers or Anglos took this to an extreme. They felt that California shouldn't be part of Mexico at all. The bear flag evolved. California Republic. In June 1846, Anglos in California decided to declare independence and proclaim themselves the Republic of California. Because of the bear motive on the flag they flew, California became known as the Bear Flag Republic. But by early 1847, California was firmly under the control of the U.S. <coughs> Mexico defeated. Playing the Fox plan for the Mexican-American war was to push the Mexican army out of Texas, take New Mexico and California, and then march of Mexico City by the beginning of 1847, uh, Jacari Taylor had accomplished the first step. Meanwhile, General Stephen Kenley had occupied New Mexico and continued on to California. The Bear Flag Revolt was underway. By September 1847, General Linsfield Scott and his troops marched to Mexico City and took control. Mexico had no choice but to surrender. <coughs> the Treaty of uh, Guadalupe, Hidalgo, and the uh, Godsend for Chase. The official end of the Mexican-American War came in February 1848 after the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. In fact, it is known as the Mexican Session, Session, something that city was given up. Mexico gave up French Day, California, Nevada, and Utah along in the part of Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Wyoming. Mexico also recognized the U.S. annexation of Texas and agreed to set the border between Texas and Mexico at Rio Grande. In exchange, American gave Mexico $15 million and promised to protect those Mexicans who do now be living in the U.S. <clears throat> Grandesen purchase Mexico, Gulf of Mexico, Texas, disputed by U.S. and Mexico, ceded by Mexico, 1848, Oregon, United States. <coughs> In 1853, Mexico also sold the U.S. a strip of the land in present-day Arizona and New Mexico for 10 million. Negotiated by Ambassador James Grayson and Gradesen purchase would have enabled the U.S. to build a southern transcontinental railroad and it set the border of the nation. Was not built the first transcontinental route. Uh, went much further north. Entering the southwest. 
After the U.S. took control of the Southwest, more Americans flocked there. Many followed the California Trail and offshoot of the Oregon Trail. They ran through the Sierra Nevada Mountain. Although the tragedy of uh, Cadillac Hidalgo granted land right to the Mexican and Native American who already inhabited land in the Southwest, these grants were generally not imposed, giving new settlers a good chance to take over. Mexican, Native American, and Anglo culture mixed, forming the distinct heritage of the American Southwest. Maybe the most famous travelers on the California Trail were the uh, Donor Fari, a group that set out for California, tried to find a shortcut, and then became stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountain during the winter of 1846-1847. Why are they famous? When they run out of food, some of them resorted to the omni nourishment that they, they could find. They ate each other. Gold Rush One of the first American men to settle in California was John Shutter who founded Shutter's Port in 1839. He homestead became a popular store for people, for people traveling or trading in the area near the uh, Sacramento River. So he hired James Marshall, a carpenter, to build a sawmill. While he was working in January of 1848, Marshall discovered gold. It wasn't long before the entire country learned that there was gold in the rivers and mountains of California. In 1849, tens of thousands of people flooded into California to try to strike uh, in rich because most of them arrived that year. They became known as 49ers, the minor 40 minor. The miners usually agreed that the first person to begin looking for gold in a certain area could stake a claim to it, but conflict often arose over mining right. And while some people did get very wealthy, most miners ended up finding little or nothing of value. Boomtown Life the sudden influx of people in California led to the creation of a mining camp. These camps quickly became boom town, cities that came to life almost overnight. Few women live in the town, but those who did could earn money cooking and cleaning for the masses of young men. Merchants uh, prospered in the mining town. Uh, there was little competition for their goods and services. About 80% of the 49, 49ers were American, but a significant percentage also came from China. As gold supplies began to decline, the perception developed that the Chinese were taking American gold in 1852, the foreign miners tax made mining too expensive for many Chinese immigrants who were forced to find other work. Some founded successful business and DG became the foundation of the thriving Chinese community throughout California. One of the most famous and successful boomtown merchants was Levi Strauss. A Jewish German immigrant who sold minor sturdy work pants called Labis. California Statehood. Even after the gold rush died down, many miners remained to farm or ranch. After just two years as a territory, California had a large enough population to apply for statehood. California wasn't granted statehood immediately because it would be a free state. California would upset the Union's 30-year-long balance. It would also mean that the South would lose some of its power in Congress. In 1850, 
in another compromise between northern and southern interest, California became the sorry first stage to be admitted to the Union, but tension between the North and South mounted.